Hey guys, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods, and today we're going to learn a little bit about um, box wrap. So, uh, you know, another uh, decorative wrap um, that we can do um, is the box wrap. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. I think there's a lot of people that probably, you know, don't know how to do it, therefore they don't try to do it. Um, but so what we're going to focus on today um, is the box wrap. All right, so when doing the box wrap uh the first thing that is really important to know is it's a very easy wrap uh, there's really three steps step one step two step three and then you just repeat step one two and three um until the end of the wrap or until you can't do one and two anymore and then you just uh do step three um to fill it out so it is a fairly easy wrap to do um but like in a lot of different wraps um spacing on your blank um, is going to be critical and it, it may you may need to have some experimentation um, to kind of figure out the right spacing that that works best for you so what i've done here is i've already kind of i've already kind of went on and marked up my rod as you can see here um, with the two um, different colors so i have some red dots and then um, some blue dots so these red dots that you see here um, are a half inch apart and so are the blue dots but the blue dots are a third of an inch or excuse me three eighths of an inch away from the red dots so they're basically you know i spaced out a half inch um, down the rod because that's the diameter of the rod uh, of the rod butt excuse me so i spaced that out and then i came back in three eighths of an inch from each one of those half inches i made a blue dot um, and so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to use, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with a red color. And I'm going to um, take this red thread again here, prep work. So I've, I've got the end of my reel seat and I need to do all of my thread work and epoxy before I put um, my locking nut and the hood on here. So I've got some double sided tape here um, and some double sided tape down here. And then what, oh, and one other thing I want to do is I want to, I like to make a mark on the rod. So this red mark here, right, this red mark here. And then, so the red is the top. So it's just when I'm turning. And then the blue is really kind of my bottom, bottom side of my wrap. And so I like to have marks there just to help me out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start down here on the, the uh, rod tip end of the rod, if you will. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come over, get this started, come over at our red spot. All right, so I'm just working down. Cross down at the bottom down here. So I'm just gonna wrap that tight. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna hit those blue spots. I just have to be equally spaced apart.
So I'm just trying to go right over every other one of those blue dots that I made. And then come down here, wrap that off. All right. With my other color, which I'm going to use gold for this one. And do the same thing. So I'm just going over the red spots first. At this time, notice I worked from the butt end of the rod going towards the tip end of the rod. I'll come down, tighten that up. Cut my line. Then I'll come back down here again. And this time I'm going to want to equally space. All right, and so that was step one and step two. So now for step three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back with our third color, which is gonna be blue. And now for step three, I'm basically gonna come down right on top of this gold color as we came off. And then so now I'm just coming down with this blue color. And the difference here in step three um, is I'm starting on the inner side of the rod or the butt side of the wrap, if you will. And then I'm gonna come down, as you see down here, got this gold thread sticking out really quick. Let me fix that. So I came down on the inside portion of the gold wrap. Now what I want to do is I'm going to come on the inside portion of the red wrap. And I didn't cut my thread there like I did on step one and step two. So this is kind of a down and back. All right, so I got that down here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back down on this gold one on the outside portion of it. So 
So as you can see, we're going back on the outside portion of the second gold thread. Loop around and then come back down on the outside portion of the second red thread. And basically, with this box wrap, I'm looking for my red and gold to be my box, you know, to, to make up my box. And then the blue thread here will be, you know, what you, you call, I guess, your filler thread. So the, the thread will fill in the rest of the blank as you wrap it. All right, then we'll go ahead and tie this off. Tie that off and we'll go ahead and cut it. Okay, so that's basically step one, two, and three. Step one, we started down here at this end of the rod or the tip top end of the rod. We used red thread and we wrapped towards the bottom portion of the rod, two evenly spaced wraps. Um, for step two, we did the same thing, but we used the light gold wrap and we started down here towards the reel seat and worked towards the tip top. And then for step three, we used our blue thread or what I'll call our filler thread. And we wrapped on the outside of each of those working away from the red and away from the gold. Um, so working out from the gold this way, out from the gold this way, and then out from the red this way, out from the red this way. Uh, and then we basically, so we started down here in the real seat. We went down and back on the outside of one gold and one red. And then we went um, down and back on the outside of the other gold and other red thread. All right. So now all we're going to do um, is we're going to go ahead and repeat steps one working inward, then repeat step two working inward then repeat step three working outward until our wrap is complete. So we're going to start back with our red thread. We'll come back up here to the top. And we're going to work inward. And what we mean by inward, excuse me, inward towards the center of the square. I know I just said towards the inward towards the real seat. I misspoke. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to work inwards on this square. So what that means is every wrap that I come by with the red, I'm going to work towards the other from this red towards the other red. Um, and then when I do it on the gold, it'll be from this gold to this gold. So we're going to work towards the center of these little squares that we have right here to give us our uh, spot. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and you'll see what I mean really quick. So I'm going to come over here. When you look down here, I'm coming right next to this first thread again on the inside, right between the two red threads here. And just taking my time.
All right, so I, that's one. So then I'll just tie off my thread down here on this end. We'll come back up here to the other end. And then we're going to repeat that. This time I'm going to come on the inside of the second red thread. All right, and so now, now that I'm down here, I'm just going around a few times, give it a snug pull, and then I'll wrap that up. And now what I want to do, I think I just want to come back here with my burnishing tool a little bit. And I'm just trying to get all these threads All right, got a few loose red threads, not really loose, but just a little space in between them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gold thread. This time I'm going to start back down here at the bottom. If I can get this tape to get a bite real quick or this ready to get a bite. All right, again, working on the inside. So I'm coming right there, as you can see, and I'm coming to the inside of this gold wrap. And then when I get down here to the far end or the tip top end, I come up, give it a good snug, tie it off. And then we're going to come back up here and do this. Second piece of the gold wrap. And then come down here, get a little snug, cut the thread. And then what I think I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more tape down here on this end, actually on both ends. That'll hold everything I've already wrapped in place. And then give me some fresh tape to double over on with some of the, the newer wraps here. And then the red was the top. And 
and blue was the bottom. Again, just a marking that I like to do for myself. So now what I'm gonna do, now we're gonna come over and repeat step three with the blue thread where we're gonna go down and back on the outside. So again, coming up to, take a start on that thread, come back to where we left off, right on the, the gold thread, go down on the outside. So I'm just using this step three. Again, this blue color is our filler color. And that's working away from the squares. So I'm not cutting this one, I wrapped around. Now I'm gonna come back on that red thread. All right, and then now I'm gonna go around and then back down again, this time on the outside of the gold thread on the top. And then we'll go back down to this end, go around, and then come back down that last, that last outer red wrap there. And as you do, the great thing about this box wrap is as you do more or as the wrap progresses, you can quickly see how it's coming out. You know how you can see how your, in this case again, the blue thread is kind of my my thread that takes up, you know, my filler thread takes up the extra space. But you can quickly see how your box is coming together. You can see how your filler thread is going to, you know, work towards the center and fill out. So it's pretty neat, pretty easy. All right, and then all we do again is repeat um, step one and two, working inwards towards the square, and then step three, working out towards the square. And then I just take my burnishing tool, and I just wanna come along and, and make sure everything's tidied up. And like, like you guys have heard me say before, when you get in, into this decorative wrap stuff, man, it's all about patience and, and taking your time and trying to make your product come together and look good, you know. All right, so my next color will be my red. Again, I'll come over and then We'll do this one at normal pace and we'll start to pick it up a little bit, but. And 
So we're going down, working towards the inside of that box with the red. time this time on the upper go around we'll come right inside there That's it with the red. And then we'll do the same thing going down, uh, repeating step two with the gold. Okay, so down here to the end. We'll go around. And then we're gonna come back on the inside on the upper part of the gold. Last part again is repeating step three with the blue. You know, start down on this gold side here. Okay, go around. And then come back down on the red.
right. And one more time going down, this time on the upper side of the gold. And then on the upper side of the red one, we're coming back. And then that'll complete, um, you know, the repeat of step three again. And then we basically go back right back into step one, two, and three every time. And I know I said it before, but all we're doing is we're continuing to repeat step one, two, and three until we can't fill in the little square anymore with the red or the gold thread. And then we just continue to work outward with our filler color or our blue color, which is the step three color. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick the pace up a little bit uh, until uh, we get the uh, square filled in. I'm coming with my burnishing tool. I'll tighten this up a little bit. And then like I said, uh, I'll speed it up until we get the squares filled in with the gold and the red color. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed it up. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've completed uh, steps one and two and three all the way up until the box didn't allow me um, to continue to work inward. Um, meaning that the boxes that you see here are now full of the thread, right? of the red and the gold thread creating that box outlined by blue. So now that I can no longer repeat step one, which was the red thread, and I can no longer re uh, repeat step two, which was the gold thread because I can't work inward anymore. Now all I have to do is just continue to do step three, which is the blue down and back on each side um, taking up the rest of the space and the rod. Now, a couple of options. So since I'm just going to go and, you know, do blue thread, I can use that blue thread to go ahead and fill up all of this space here, which will cover all of this thread here on the sides, but it won't cover our, uh, our box wraps here in the center. So I can fill that in with blue if I want, or I can come back and do something else, um, a little different. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to come back with my um, thread and I'm going to touch these dots that I have and I'm going to come in. So my four colors, as you can tell, the three initially ones were red, blue and gold. But I'm also going to incorporate a little bit of gray uh, into this wrap. And so I think what I'll do is as I work my way down to one of these dots, um, I will come in with some gray and tie that in to give it a kind of a, a different look. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So all I'm going to do um, is I'm going to just continue doing, you know, filling in the block with the blue thread or the blank spaces with the blue thread. That's going to continue to just, you know, make that box wrap more prominent. 
you know, so this blue is basically just, you know, all of our, you know, perimeter around the box wrap and then filling it in. So I'm going down on one and coming back on the other. And then I'm just going to continue to do that until I take up all of that extra space. And then again, um, you can use all of this blue if you wanted or whatever that third color you're using is. Um, or you can do that for a bit. And then if you're like, if you've done like I have already, I've already made some marks with my marker. I'll just come in and incorporate some other thread to break up that, you know, mon monotonous color of just a, a blob of blue with, the orange and or the red and gold um, box wraps. Although I think it'll look cool that way. I, I just want to try to find another way to incorporate this gray thread um, into this decorative wrap because those are the four colors that I'm using um, for this rod build. Yep, and then come back underneath here. So what I'll do, um, I think, is once I finished it, I'll just continue. I'll just continue to to fill in um, with this blue thread, or continue to repeat step three uh, with this blue thread until I get to the spot where I want to incorporate that gray and then once I get to that spot I'll I'll pick up the video from that point um, and continue forward okay okay guys so welcome back so I've gone ahead as you can see and um, I switched over to some size D regular um, nylon uh, navy blue thread and I went ahead and filled in uh, that decorative wrap a little bit. Um, and so now I just have my um, boxes, my red and gold boxes. And now what I want to do, so I just want to come back with a little bit of gray um, NCP thread. Um, and so this one, you know, is, pr is preserved thread. And I just want to come back and use this gray thread as a little bit of an accent. So I just want to come in. And what I'm going to do is kind of come up with a little bit of a a cross pattern, I think, um, you know, come up with a cross pattern in between these boxes uh, just to give it a little bit of an accent. And so I'm just kind of rotating, looking for the center between these boxes. And I kind of come down here to the end of my double-sided tape, go around a couple times, and then I want to come back over I think that's where I want to be at. I'm just trying to find Make sure I got a good crossing point so it looks somewhat symmetrical, you know, my cross marks are the same. And I'm just, you know, placing that, those uh, crossover spots with this gray thread, trying to keep them in line with the boxes that I've made. And then this is just, again, a little accent piece. I want a little bit of gray in there, kind of like a tag wrap, right? So I'm not doing a lot of gray, um, just a little bit.
And so I think what I'll do is I'll wrap that part off there and then kind of figure out what what I think of that. Um, you know, that gray, do I, do I like just the one, the one color of the gray or the one wrap of the gray or do I want to do a couple more to make it a little bit thicker? Um, I think I like the single one. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that single gray wrap on there as an accent piece. Um, and we'll just leave it just the one on there. I was thinking about maybe coming up with uh, maybe a little bit more gold or red, but th those those colors are pretty strong and I just want this little bit of this accent gray in there. Um, again, kind of almost like a tag wrap, but you know, doing a, doing a decorative wrap. So that's really it uh, when it comes to doing um, the box wrap um, technique again it's really you know three steps um, step one working from the uh, tip into the rod working inward or towards the butt end um, with a color step two um, is working from the butt end outward um, with a second color and then step three is down and back and down and back on both the inward and the outward sides of your thread which was the blue to create that uh, the filler look, if you will, to, to help outline your boxes, um, like you see here in these red and black boxes. So um, I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Um, please hit the like button uh, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And feel free to share the video with anybody um, that you think will get something out of it. So watch this next video here. Until next time, and thanks for watching and supporting Real Blue Custom Rods. Take care. Bye.